Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Max for Live tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using packages. Uh, this is in light of there just being a package release that's totally legit, it's totally cool. Uh, I gave it a share on the Facebook page and everybody went kind of crazy for it. So I figured I'd share with the people that aren't associated with packages what they are and how awesome they are and why you should be using them. So the first thing you're going to do is open up, you know, Max Patch and then go ahead and open up Max for Live. And then when you come in, there's this little cube over here. It's called the Package Manager. You click that. It's going to launch another window. And these are all legit user made additions to uh, the Max for Live program or Max in general. And it's really easy to install them. And they're kind of like Ableton Live Packs, but they're just called Max Packages. The one that just came out today is this Audio Mix, which is a number of utilities that are really great. So Audio Mix is a small collection of audio patch blocks that may facilitate the building of simple virtual mixing consoles for your audio patches. Sounds legit, right? Sounds awesome. Uh, there's gonna be some system requirements stuff. What's it's going to come inside of it you can obviously scroll down and look what's inside uh, there's a website you can check out and a rating system and everything like that but essentially what you want to do is hit install you're going to let it go ahead and install the package onto your computer which is going to include downloading it from the website as you can see it went really quick because max packages are really you know they don't take up a lot of space a lot of data and from here you can disable it or you can trash it if you want to come back later and do those things or you can hit launch which is going to give you essentially the starting page for what's inside. So as you can see, there's a little note down here at the bottom. If I move this over to center, there's a little note at the bottom that says, uh, click something, it says double click something to see what's going on. So here we have a patch that was made by the maker of the package. So this is kind of like the starting point to figure out what's going on with stuff. It's you know, quite involved here and it's done by the person who made the patch so you can be assured that it's going to give you the starting ground that you'll need to utilize the package and also if you're going to be using it in different ways obviously learning how it's supposed to be used to begin with is a good start, right? Huge, huge pack right here. Highly suggest getting this for anyone that's involved with Max for Live but there's another, you know, there are many, many packages in here this is just the home page here. There are three pages of these things. Uh, here's another one, ADSR221, which is audio visual graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And I mean, just coming in here for inspiration and coming in here for good tools for your own patches, just a great idea. And of course, while I'm trying to do this tutorial that uses the internet, my internet connection dies because that's where I live and that's what happens. But anyway, highly suggest using the package manager to get the tools and to get the uh, inspiration that will help you go to the next level inside of Max for Live. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.